Hi everybody, it's Brian from iSpring. In this video, we'll focus on five corporate solutions for rapid deployment of e-learning in your organization. iSpring Learn, Docebo, Litmos, Talent LMS, and Matrix. They're all very intuitive, support mobile learning, and have awesome stuff like gamification. I'll cover the basic features, then give you a brief tour of each LMS to help you make your decision. So, let's get started. The first LMS I'm going to cover is iSpring Learn. It's got a strong 5-star Captera rating and an integrated authoring tool. One feature that sets it apart from other LMSs is the unlimited storage space, and it's also quite affordable compared to the competition. Here we are in the LMS, and I would have to say that the interface is a lot crisper and simpler than most everything else you'll see online. You get a nice overview here on the dashboard, and all the other functions are available on the left. You can organize course materials into self-paced learning paths, and it's easy to upload new stuff here from the content section. iSpring Learn accepts all kinds of popular file formats, including SCORM, audio, video, and documents. Once a course item is uploaded, you'll be able to access all the settings here and invite people to view it from this tab. There's also a discussions feature that allows learners and instructors to communicate. And one of the most powerful aspects of iSpring Learn is the unparalleled reporting capabilities. You can pull up detailed reports on all the activities in the LMS from six categories. It's also worth mentioning here that you can sell your content on iSpring Learn and get sales reports right here. Another great feature is the events section. Here you can schedule webinars and live training events, and track attendance in the reports. The People section lets you easily add users and assign them different access levels, plus organize them into groups and organizations. Finally, you can manage your LMS settings right here. You can customize the account branding, and access additional options right here, including e-commerce, gamification, and language settings. Plus, you can go up here to the Profile menu and preview the User Portal. Users can see their assigned courses here, plus check out the Events Calendar here, see their gamification achievements here, and access the Open Course Catalog right here. Now let's take a look at Docebo LMS. It has a 4-star Captera rating, and stands apart from the crowd thanks to its modular interface and extensive localization. It has no integrated authoring tool though, so you might want to shop around for one. Now let's check out the interface. The profile menu is up here at the top left where you can see the main parts of your account. You can easily get more users for the LMS by clicking this button here, and access the apps and features with this button. You can see your active apps right here, and enable additional features right over here. There's a whole list of extra stuff you can try out for free with a description below each item. For example, gamification is a popular item in most LMSs. Here in the description, you can see what type of plan is required to access this feature. The same thing applies for installing third party integrations like WordPress and web conferencing tools like Adobe Connect. You can manage your LMS by going up here to the gear icon on the top left. Let's have a quick look at the channels, which is a very popular feature that sets Docebo apart. Channels are a part of the Coach and Share module in Docebo that enables learners to take advantage of social and informal learning. Check the link in the description for more info. You can create a new channel with this button, plus continue your learning activity, check your subscriptions, and see your activity history down here. Now, back here on the management page, I want to show you another thing that makes Docebo great, the localization tool. Here you can choose from 38 languages to localize your LMS for people around the world. You can edit or export a language over here with these buttons. Finally, I'm going to swing over here to the Get More Users button and show you the different plans offered by Docebo. You can check out this page to compare all the features for the Starter, Advanced, and Enterprise plans which differ in the number of active users in the system and features of the LMS. The chart down here will help you pick the perfect plan for your needs. 
Moving right along, let's check out Litmos. It has a 4.5 cap terror rating, and comes with a simple built-in course editor for folks who need to create content without all the bells and whistles. In addition, it features LMS essentials like e-commerce, gamification, certificates, and mobile apps. And now the interface. Here in the dashboard, you can see your courses and users, along with some stats on recent activity. And over here in the courses section, let's create a new course. You can enter a title and optional description here, and then go ahead and save it. To add content, click this button, and then drop the files here in this open window. Alternatively, you can create new content here like an assessment or survey, and much more. Let's choose assessment. Again, the title is mandatory and the description is optional, and we'll go ahead and save. You can divide questions into groups and create a new question here. For a multiple choice question, just add the question right here, then add the answer choices down here, and check the box next to the correct answer. You can add more answer choices with this button. Now I'll go ahead and save, and here's my new question in the list. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard and take a closer look. You can see recent activity right down here, and recently viewed items in this list here. If you're using a free trial of Litmos, you can check out the pricing by clicking Buy Now, and then following the pricing link. The plans are broken down into just the LMS, or the LMS bundled with a course library, or integrated with Salesforce. The prices shown are for each user, with a minimum of 50 users for the Pro Plus Courses plan, and 151 for the rest. Down below, there's a list of all the features included in the LMS, plus all the additional features you'll get with the more advanced plans. Okay, now let's have a look at Matrix LMS. Captera reviewers give it 4 stars, and its strongest feature is the 40 plus languages with automatic translation capabilities. It also offers networking and collaboration, activity feeds, and a simple authoring tool. Let's dive in for a closer look. Here we are in the dashboard, and the first thing I want to show you is the strong localization. As you can see, there's a wide selection of languages to choose from, and when you select a language, the whole interface changes to that language. Now let's go ahead and switch back to English so I can see everything in my native language. As you can see, there are several sections you can navigate to, which can also be accessed from this admin menu down here. Let's take a look at the App Center. This page features a ton of apps that can be extremely useful depending on your needs. For example, here's the ever popular e commerce and gamification features that are an essential part of any LMS. You can see which plan is required to install each app, get help on it, and install it with these buttons. Apps that are already installed will be marked on the left. Okay, now let's go up here to the main menu and check out the courses. I'll go to this course on design patterns. This takes me to the modules section, and now the menu on the left changes to show me tons more course options. For example, I'll scroll back up here and go to the assessment section. I can add a new assessment with this button, and here's a bunch of different assessment types to choose from. I'll choose a quiz. You can give it a title here, and access more options right here on this tab. Now let's go ahead and save it. I can add questions over here on the questions tab by clicking this button. Now I can choose from several standard question types. I'll pick a multiple choice. Again, this is pretty standard. Question text here, answer choices down here, and correct checkboxes over here. There's also a feedback option which opens this list and lets you give custom feedback for each answer choice. Okay, let's go ahead and save it. And now here's my question in the list. I can preview the details by clicking it. Now I'm going to switch over to this tab where I have the Matrix website open and go to the pricing page. 
There's a bunch of different plans, simply based on number of users, and you can select yearly or monthly billing options to suit your preferences. Finally, let's have a look at Talon LMS. With a nice 5 star Captera rating, it features flexible gamification settings, a ton of third party integrations, and is the only LMS on this list that offers a completely free version, though naturally it's more limited than the paid option. Here on the main page, you can also see that the interface is pretty simple, with 10 different main areas to choose from right here and subcategories below them. For example, let's have a look at those flexible gamification settings I mentioned earlier. You can toggle gamification up here, and then there's five subsections down here that you can toggle and fine tune points, badges, levels, rewards, and leaderboard. You can really fine tune these settings like adjusting the number of points awarded for different actions like logging in. Up here in the Go To menu, you can access the 10 different parts of the LMS. Let's go to the Courses section. You can add a new course with this button, but I'm going to show you this course I already added as an example. Here's all the course info, and now I'm going to go to the course with this button right here, and then go up here to this button to see how it looks from the learner's perspective. This is actually an example of a course made in iSpring Suite. When it's done, the learner can press this button right here to complete it. The points earned are shown right up here, and clicking on it will show more gamification info like levels and badges. I can see that this course is completed in this drop down right here, and see the reward screen by clicking the Champion's Cup. Now I'm going to switch over to this tab with the Talon LMS website and go over to the pricing section. Like I said before, there's a free version, but it only allows up to 5 users and 10 courses. The other plans are laid out right here in this simple chart, and you can also sort them by annual and monthly pricing, and standard and unlimited plans. Well, that about covers it for this simple overview of the top 5 LMSs for small business training. Obviously, the choice of an LMS can be pretty complex, so I encourage you to take a closer look and see which LMS fits your business like a glove. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.